Hello, humans. This is another set of cases from Zhang Zihe. Um, these are a bunch of his cases where somehow ghosts and spirits are involved, but he never sees them as ghosts and spirits. So, um, you know, he's not a believer, it seems, in ghosts and spirits. And so let's see some of these cases. I've already had two previous sets of cases from him in previous videos that are already posted. So if you're interested in him and his thinking, then you can look back for those. Um, Zhang Zihe, you know, Chinese men had multiple names. He's also called Zhang Tsong Zheng. And um, in his cases, they always call him Dai Ren. It's, I guess, like his nickname or something like that. So whenever we see Dai Ren as this guy, you can see his dates. Um, he was one of the four great masters of the Jin Yuan dynasties, and he wrote a book that's pretty well known called Zhu Man Shi Qin, um, published, it looks like the year of his death, the Jin dynasty. <clears throat> and um, he's the founder of the school of attacking and purging. Um, so his treatments are always very mm, strong. And he liked to make people vomit, make people sweat, might make people have diarrhea. Um, so even though, you know, he's one of the four great masters, his school of thought didn't end up being nearly as popular as um, Li Dong Yuan's Nourish Earth you know, supplement earth school or um, Judan Shi's um, Nourishian school or even Liu Wan Su's cooling school. So he's like the least popular, but actually he's really clever and really funny. So let's see what we have to say. There's a condition that's called dreaming of intercourse with ghosts. I think it's just really basically sex dreams. <laughs> um, yeah, um, maybe sometimes it, it seems to be just sex dreams like nocturnal emissions. Sometimes, though, it seems to be uh, maybe there's something creepy about the dream. So we'll see what is going on here. At night, a 34-year-old woman dreamed of intercourse with ghosts and spirits. She was frightened by this weird thing that was going on. And in her dream, she saw ancestral temples in the world of the dead. So, you know, she's seeing the underworld. That's creepy and scary. She's seeing boats and bridges. And it was this way for 15 years. She was having these dreams, these creepy dreams. And also during that time, she couldn't get pregnant. This is 15 years. So that means she was like 19 when it started. If I did the math right. <laughs> and so what did the family try to do for her? Male and female shamans supplicated and prayed. And she or the family stopped at nothing, drilling into her muscles with acupuncture and applying moxa to the flesh on myriad acupuncture points. She became emaciated and feverish and wanted to drink. It's not clear. This could just mean she wants to drink fluids. It, it, may, it probably doesn't mean drink alcohol. Um, and she had fullness of the middle jaw and her feet were swollen. She was ready to accept her fate, which means she thought she was gonna die. One day then in desperation, they tried inviting Dai Ren, Zhang Zihe, to see her and he said, Yang fire is exuberant in her upper body and yin fire is exuberant in her lower body. Ghosts and spirits are yin, beings, yin, numinous, you know, spirit-related beings. Um, ancestral temples are yin places, and boats and bridges have a water function. So there are all of these yin spirits and yin temples, and water is yin. The twin pulse of both hands is deep and hidden, so we know she has phlegm in her chest. So he's 
thinking these dreams have to do with phlegm. We know when phlegm bothers the heart, we have confusion, delusions, or hallucinations. Altogether, he made her vomit three times, he gave her diarrhea three times, and he made her sweat three times. He just was getting everything out of her. And remember, she was emaciated, it said. She stopped dreaming in less than 10 days, and she was pregnant within a month. So Zhang Dairen said, my treatment of the woman enabled her to become pregnant. This method of mine, making everybody poop and vomit and sweat, this method does not mislead. <laughs> it's going to work. Well, I don't know if we're going to do that today, but it's an interesting case. You know, not all of my cases are so practical, but they're interesting, I hope. Here's another one. Pain of the low back, sacrum, spine, and hips. A 60-something-year-old male suffered pain of this whole region. He hadn't recovered in several years. He was quiet in the daytime, but got restless at night. This intense pain came and went. He repeatedly tried to end his natural lifespan. He was in so much pain, he tried to kill himself. He was in pain day and night, and he'd make people beat him with, his, with their fists. I guess somehow that either took his mind off the pain or helped relieve the pain. So the pain would gradually decrease during the fifth watch when the rooster crowed and would stop towards dawn. So the night was divided into five watches in ancient times. And, you know, a night watchman would walk around the city and, you know, at each change in the night watch that, you know, bang a gong and announce what time it was in the night and so forth. The fifth watch is the last watch. So that's when dawn is coming and the rooster crows. Um, and then his pain would stop when it actually dawned. His servants thought this disease was a punishment from supernatural beings. It literally says thought this was a punishment from spirits and ghosts. Um, or, let's see, yeah, spirits and ghosts. Um, or gods and ghosts. Um, you know, the word shen, of course, is spirit when we talk about what resides in the heart, but the same word is used for the spirit of other beings, including beings that are not embodied, like minor deities and, and minor gods and, and spirits. So, you know, is this gods and ghosts or spirits and ghosts? It could be either and all of the above. And ghosts actually isn't always... Um, what's left over from a dead human it can the word way can also refer to things that were never human so i said supernatural beings in any case um his servants thought the disease was a punishment from these supernatural beings a bite of the white tiger so the white tiger is a uh, a star. Um, you might be familiar with it from Bai Hu Tang, which is white tiger decoction. It's associated with the West, but it's a star and it's not considered a good star. You know, tigers can eat you, tigers can mangle you. And there's a lot of cultural stuff about the white tiger, which sometimes refers to like a woman who can do a lot of damage. Um, but I don't know that that's what they're meaning here. They're just saying an unlucky star. Okay. So um, everybody prayed at dawn and invoked the gods at dusk. They called sorcerers and shamans, Buddhist and Taoist monks. And they called alchemists. And when those people came, the pain would decrease some. I mean, if you think it's due to punishment from the gods, then these are things you would do to um, try and recover from it. He also dreamed of ghosts and spirits fighting and striking each other, as well as mountain and river spirit temples. 
he made offerings to all of them because he just wanted to get out of this pain. So this went on and on for many long years. And he also became emaciated. His skin was withered. He was eating less and less. And he was becoming just enraged with the pain and, and the agony and the you know, suffering. So his violent rage increased by the day and he was only waiting to die. So a scholar, somebody he knew, a scholar said to him, hey, you already told us this is a misfortune of punishment from supernatural beings. You told us this is a bite of the white tiger. And if that's true, then why aren't you getting better when you pray? <laughs> you know, why aren't your, praise, your prayers being answered? And he's basically saying, you know, get rid of this supernatural stuff. The scholar said, I've heard of Zhang Dairen, um, who comes from a place called Chen, and he's skilled in giving medicine. You should ask him about the supernatural beings and the white tiger giving you this disease. If his skill is too poor to help you, then you can give up, but don't give up before you've seen him. So his family followed this idea. They called up Diren and you know sent a message or something. He came and diagnosed their pulse, the guy's pulse. They were all deep, stagnant, hard, and powerful. They were as strong as, and I'm sorry, I you know really searched and searched and I couldn't find out what this exactly means. If you know, please put it in the comments, please tell me. Um, but you know, he's saying that the pulse was as strong as something that's strong. <laughs> um, so Diren said, even though the patient is emaciated and has a hard time eating, the pain in that whole back, lower back area must be due to hard stool. Somehow from the pulse, he diagnosed that this is constipation that's causing this horrible pain. And here is a trigger warning. <laughs> There's some unpleasant stuff we're going to hear. His servant said he only has one or two lumps of dry stool the size of a slingshot pellet every five or six days, or even every eight or nine days. You know, such a small amount of hard, dry stool. It's bound up and it's so hard, I can't even describe how hard it is. In the past, and here's where it gets really gross, he has had people gouge it out of, you know, yeah, like gouge it, the stool out of him, but they only get one or two lumps. Gross. He also had dryness and itching from head to foot. His skin was wrinkled and flaked off, all withered and coarse like wheat bran, like his skin was flaking with things that look like this, so much dryness. So Zhang Dairen understood deficiency and excess of the patient. Well, all he ever understands is excess. <laughs> he, you know, really never acknowledges deficiency. Um, or so rarely acknowledges deficiency. So um, he then used da chang chi tang boiled with ginger and, and da cao with dates. Of course, that's going to induce a bowel movement. He also added two qian of powdered qian yu to, which is morning glory. I'm not sure if it's morning glory seeds or some other part of the plant, but this is morning glory, which you may know is going to induce incredibly hard, uh, severe diarrhea. Okay. So he didn't dare to tell the patient it was going to induce diarrhea because when patients hear about warming herbs, they're happy. But when they hear about cooling or cold herbs, they're fearful. When people, you know, say, I'm going to give you supplementing herbs, then the patient complies. But when you tell them you're going to use draining herbs, they shun it. So we can see Zhang Dairan, Zhang Zihe, has been rejected a lot because his treatments are so intensely draining and people want warming herbs and supplementing herbs um, because they're more comfortable and more mild and, you know, the side effects aren't so great. And furthermore, at the same time, people pass on the idea of, you know, liking warming and supplementing. So crowds of suffering people 
clamor for this warming and supplementing and reject you know, draining and cold, bitter herbs. At least that's what I think this says. I have a few translation problems here. There are a few things I'm not sure of, but I think this is like the idea of what the Chinese is saying. Okay, so when the formula was done boiling, he let it cool so that it was just, you know, nicely warm and the patient swallowed the decoction. He started with a small dose and then Zhang increased the dose over the course of three days. That evening, the and this is a, a weird thing, this does say the Zhang Fu, you know, the organs, the yin and the yang organs. That evening, the Zhang Fu had four or five bouts of diarrhea, about half a bowl full. How big is a bowl? Oh, maybe that's a basin. Well, so it's a little bit big. Mm. They used a lamp to inspect it because it's at night, you know, that evening, so it's dark out. So they had to use a lamp to look at it. And it was all dried stool in lumps mixed with blood stasis. And it was so foul smelling that you couldn't even get near it. Oh, it was horrible. But as soon as he had those bouts of diarrhea, the pain decreased by 90%. Wow, that's amazing. So he slept deeply and his breath became well-regulated, breathing the way a healthy person breathes. He slept until it was almost sunset the next day. So it's like he slept almost 24 hours. He began to feel hunger and demanded rice porridge. They gave it to him warm or cold. And again, I'm not totally sure if, you know, that's, this is gave it to him and this is literally warm and cold. It might mean, you know, medium temperature. It might mean that if he asked for it warm, they gave it warm. If he asked for it cold, they gave it to him cold. Mm. Uh, you know, there are a few things where translation, I, I'm not 100% sure, but I have the basic idea. Anyway, he slept hard for the next one or two days and his pain was completely gone. Next, they regulated his diet and he took care of himself <clears throat> or his people took care of him. And every day he took a couple herbal formulas, which are herbs to disinhibit and make the stool slippery. So these two formulas are not formulas you and I are going to use today. They have some pretty drastic herbs in them to make diarrhea again. So, you know, to disinhibit and make the stool slippery, they're still giving him diarrhea. Um, then he recovered after 40 some days. Okay, so you can see these ghost and spirit cases. Zhang Dairen is not saying, yeah, it's ghosts. Let's, you know, continue with the shaman. He's saying, come on, this is, you know, physical medicine and I can deal with it with my drastic herbs. Here's another one. Um, somebody got mania after falling off a horse. So a man fell off his horse and became manic. When he got up, his eyes were glaring and he was raving and did not follow social etiquette. This basically says um, that he didn't treat people above him properly or he didn't treat, maybe he treated people below him, you know, with more honor than they needed. It's like he wasn't you know, using the proper formality or informality with people. Okay. He discarded his clothes and ran around pouring out abusive language. His physical strength doubled so that three or five people couldn't hold him to tie him up. And so they thought it was ghosts and so forth. They burned talismans. They offered libations. They asked ghosts about it. You know, Ouija board? I don't know how they asked, but they asked the ghosts shamans danced it hardly made a difference then they wasted their wealth on cinnabar bezor huang huang new yeah something like that um rhinoceros pearls camphor and musk all expensive herbs they spent all their money on all these expensive herbs until you know they're going poor they're going broke over this trying to fix him and so eventually they asked Dairen to come, who lived about 200 li away. If I remember correctly, one three li is about one mile. 
So he's still that pretty far away, but you know, they're desperate and I guess they still have enough money to, to pay him. So now this gets really weird, but we saw before that Jiang Dai Ren, you know, in some of the earlier ones that he was good at using physical things to, you know, achieve a goal and his medicine wasn't totally herbal medicine he used physical things he used emotions induced emotions in his patient to get a response here is something really interesting so he buried a cartwheel in the ground you know flat but underground and then about two jung above it how big is a jung i don't know my understanding is that a jung is is approximately the height of a adult male, but I could be wrong about that. So that's pretty high up in the air, if that's true. Anyway, above it, there must be an axle. And, you know, so one wheel is buried in the ground, there's an axle coming up, and he put a medium-sized wheel on top of the axle. So the wheel underground is stabilizing it and holding it in place, and then there's a wheel on top that can spin. So he chiseled an incan an indentation in the rib shaped like a basin. So he kind of carved out this region so it was a little bowl-like. And he tied the person with mania onto the wheel, lying face down with a soft mat under him. I guess, you know, this would be kind of lumpy. So they carved it out, they put a mat there, and then they tied the guy onto the wheel. He made a large person sit below the wheel and spin the wheel with a stick, turning it endlessly. I hate those rides in theme parks and so forth. I hate those spinning rides. I never want to go on them. The patient vomited out one or two dole of green, yellow, frothy saliva, which is, you know, basically the idea of phlegm. Saliva is the fluid of the spleen. Phlegm is made by the spleen. And so in a previous one, he used the word phlegm, but often authors at this time didn't use the word phlegm very much. And they use the word saliva when it's more or less what we would call phlegm. How big is a dough? I don't know. Um, but uh, he vomited out a whole bunch of yellow, green, frothy phlegm kind of stuff. And as you know, phlegm can cause confusion, delusions, and hallucinations like mania. So after spinning the wheel several times, the patient said, I can't bear this. Can you untie me and let me down? But that's normal talk. That's not his ranting and raving and cursing. So they said, okay. And they untied him after he said this. He asked for cold water. Well, I'm sure you know that in Chinese medicine, oh, we just so avoid cold water because the spleen likes warmth and doesn't like coldness. And, you know, cold water will put out spleen yang and make digestion, damage digestion and so forth. But Zhang Dai Ren, there's a number of cases where he allows the patient cold water or he even gives the patient cold water. So that's really something different than you're going to find from other doctors. And so the patient asked for cold water. They gave it to him and he drank several sheng of ice water. And the mania stopped. So he got rid of the phlegm and mania involves heat. So he cooled down with the cold water, lived happily ever after. Here is another one. Um, Dairen was in a place called Xihua and he stayed in some government official named Sha in the house of this government official. Apparently they had been friends in the past. Um, official Sha suddenly became ill with a sore on the back of his neck. At first it looked like a whitehead, the sore was swollen and it had a hard red root, but he didn't worry about it when it was small. And then Dairen came and when he saw Zhang Dairen, he said, hey, let's let's feast. Let's eat lamb and drink wine. And I don't know if it was in his home or if it was out in a restaurant, but chicken, fish, meat sauce and garlic were also all there on the table. It was a big feast. Dairen and his old friend were unable to part 
you know, what that means is like they hadn't seen each other for a long time and, you know, it's time to go home, but they just couldn't bear to say goodnight. So they stayed there talking and eating and drinking wine. They forgot about all the taboos. So they were eating and drinking as much as they want, whatever they want, and they weren't being careful with their food or drink. That night, the sore became unbearably painful. The swelling on the neck reached his head. I guess the swollen area kept growing, and now it's not only on his neck, it's on his head. <laughs> um, and, you know, this is the back of the neck, so... It's growing up the back of his neck. And he began raving because he saw ghosts and spirits. Um, Mr. Shaw was filled with fear. And, you know, he was going half crazy. And for some reason, he wanted to punish his family. Um, maybe because they made the dinner. You know, I don't know. It's a little weird, but he wanted to punish his family. But Dyron laughed. I mean, he laughed at this guy's discomfort and said, please don't worry, you'll be safe and sound tomorrow. So then Dairen used six or seven chen of a formula called Pong Jing San, uh, mixed with wine. Um, so this Tong Jing San, I'm not sure what it is. I could research further, but I just know that Zheng Zihe <laughs> doesn't use formulas that we're going to use today for the most part. I mean, sure, he mentioned Da Cheng Shi Tang, but he mixed in morning glory, which makes it a lot more violent and so forth. There are formulas called Tong Jing San, which can mean like regulate menstruation. Um, but Tong Jing can also mean regulate the channels. And so I'd have to do a bunch of research to figure out what formula this is. I doubt that it's the menstruation formula, but you know, I didn't because it's going to turn out to be something that we can't use. Okay, so he mixed, you know, some of this powder with wine, with rice wine, and then used that liquid, the rice wine with herbs to swallow more than 100 grains of um, docha one, which is another formula that has stuff we can't use. And by the way, any time a formula is talked about in grains rather than pills, um, <laughs> that means tiny little tiny, tiny little, you know, things, maybe the size of a grain of salt or something like that. Um, and that's going to be really drastic formulas when they're measured in grains. Um, it's not going to be normal pills. You're going to take a very small amount of this formula, although he's really given it to him with 100 grains. And then he had Mr. Shah eat hot noodle soup. I don't know why, but you know, yeah, add one more thing in there. Mr. Shah vomited above and had diarrhea below. Stuff was coming out both ends of him, both equally at the same time. And altogether, a half a basin came out of him. The next day at noon, the swelling of the sore was already flattened. And in a day or two, the swelling dispersed and he recovered. Mr. Shah thought this was quite marvelous. So you can see all these times when people are seeing ghosts or the family or servants think there's a ghost. Zhang says, ghost my ass. <laughs> um, and so this one also, you know, a lot of these, this is pretty old and um, my Chinese has its limits. And so sometimes there's some things I'm not 100% sure of, but... I believe I got the basic idea. If anyone has corrections, please let me know. Anyway, so this seems like this is the servant girl of Dairen, and they were traveling in the winter. Um, even though it's winter, her face was fiery red. And when they got to someplace that's called Yin Yang, but it's a different Yin. It's not the same Yin as, you know, Yin and Yang. This is, I think, the name of a river. Um, so when they got to this place, she was sick with severe pain in her low back and hips and also tenesmus, which, you know, is kind of like spasms of the anal region or sometimes associated with diarrhea. When it was painful, she saw ghosts and gods or ghosts and spirits. 
you, you know, she's hallucinating. Dairen said, this is a Xiaoyang channel as minister fire on the side of the body. Um, this ghost and spirits, this is a Xiaoyang problem. Why did he say that? I don't know. Uh, he made her take, again, the same two formulas that were used in the previous case, which are things we're not going to use today. She had several basins full of diarrhea, but she still didn't recover. Everyone thought it was strange, and they thought she had an evil spirit. Dairon got angry at that suggestion and said, ghost my ass, which is really funny. So I'm actually not absolutely sure how somebody who knows more than me would translate this, but here's ghost, and this word is donkey, but also ass, because, you know, an ass, donkey, another name for donkey is an ass. But this also means stupid. OK, so he could be saying stupid ghost. But I tend to I decided to translate this as ghost my ass. <laughs> he's he's pretty funny, Zhang Dairin. Um, so he again made her take um, Chao Wei Cheng Chi Tang. You know, another Chang Chi Tang formula with Da Huang that's going to induce more diarrhea. And he added one liang of this Qian Yu Chou, the, um, what's it called, morning glory, um, which will really induce diarrhea strongly. She had several episodes of diarrhea, about one or two jars of it. And then there's a little phrase that, um, again, I'm having a hard time translating. Uh, this phrase. Um, so sorry, I put dot, dot, dot. <laughs> um, but, you know, we get the story even without that. Anyway, so after she had all this diarrhea, she just felt thirsty. So Dairen let her drink or eat whatever she wanted. And so she drank water, you know, not hot water. She just drank water. Um, she ate watermelon, pears, persimmons, and so forth um, to get rid of this heat. Remember, her face was fiery red. Dairen said, there's nothing like ice whenever one treats fire. Um, water is heaven and earth's ultimate yin to counteract the fire. So she drank one or two buckets of water, but still felt mild pain. Okay, so, yeah, again, he's the only one I know that says, oh, ice is okay when you've got heat. <laughs> um, Dairen then pricked GB34, Yangling Chuen, to help, you know, there's like stagnation and to help let it stretch out and not be all bunched up anymore, help the stagnation extend. This is a foot Chow Yin gallbladder channel point, it says. You know, in Chinese, Yang Ling doesn't tell you what channel it's on. So he's just, you know, reminding you that that's a gallbladder point. Remember before he said Xiao Yang? She became peaceful from that moment. Later, the servant girl said, every year I have diarrhea five or six times five or seven times, but this year I didn't have any more diarrhea because he cured me. This is the reason, okay? So there's actually one more case of his I found that talks about ghosts and spirits, but I had even more translation problems with it, so I'm not putting it in this slideshow. But again, you know, the person is seeing ghosts and spirits and howling and yelling, and, you know, so everybody thinks it's ghosts and spirits, but Zhang Dai Ren comes and uses herbs to cure him. And so that's just the thing. So in looking at ancient books, when they talk about ghosts and spirits, some cases, the doctor seems to believe they're ghosts and spirits. Some cases, the doctor seems to humor the family by, you know, giving them herbs, but also acting like the ghosts and spirits are there. <laughs> um, and some cases like this, you know, there's no case that I could find in his book where he took the ghosts and spirits seriously. He always thought it was more of a physical thing, not a, not a metaphysical thing. Okay. So that's my case. I'll see you next time.